Hi, so we're going to go ahead and install VS Code inside uh, Linux Mint. This will also work for uh, to desktop. Just to go ahead and open up uh, Firefox, and we're going to uh, type in uh, install VS Code. Our first link that comes up, we're just going to click the very first link. Now, uh, uh, .deb files, deb files are the installation files for Debian. Ubuntu is a Debian distribution or, or based on Debian. And then Linux Mint is an Ubuntu based on Ubuntu. So uh, so there you go. So it's the, they're all the same uh, installation files. Um, if you have a um, Intel or AMD processor, it's x64. Uh, for the majority of people that have uh, consumer laptops or desktops, it's going to be x64. So we're going to go click that. Um, it's going to uh, download. There we go. And once it downloads, we'll just click that file. Uh, we're going to be using just the interface. We have a desktop installed. Um, so in this case, um, uh, we're just going to use the UI to do this instead of using uh, the terminal. All right. So uh, our package manager comes up, our UI for the package manager. Let's click install package. Uh, we're going to give our administrator password, so somebody in the Sudo group, Sudoers group, uh, and this is just the if you uh, installed this and gave your if you're the only user on your system and you put in your username when installing the system, this is just your password. All right, so now it's going to install our uh, uh, .deb file, and what this is going to do is it's going to add in the Microsoft repositories. It's going to also um, also going to install the software and take a look at that. Okay, so if we notice here, it it gets some that you know I'm reinstalling this, so it will usually give you a message saying that it's added these Microsoft repositories. There, you don't need to go and check anything on this. Uh, but basically that's it. So, so it is now installed. And now when you update your uh, machine, it will also update code at the same time. So in this case, uh, when you first install, you'll have to go to this, uh, this menu by clicking either in a bunch of desktop, it's going to be a different place, but it's very similar. Just go in and type in code, choose the uh, Visual Studio Code icon. And then what I like to do is once it's done, once it's done here, you just uh, right click on it and then do pin to panel. Okay? And and if you do pin to panel, then it's just going to live right down here. I'm not sure what they call this? This is the system tray over here. I looked that up. All right. Uh, okay. So it's going to live down the right at the bottom of your screen, easy to get to. Um, and there we go. Launch VS Code. Way to go. Okay, so best of luck uh, installing VS Code.